opening with the king's pawn controls the center and opens up the light squared bishop and queen, often leading to sharp games. The Sicilian defense controls the d4 square with c pawn. Nf3 develops the knight toward the center to prepare for a d4 pawn push, where the knight will recapture if black captures on d4. Nc6 helps control both the d4 square and the e5 square. Bb5 attacks the knight on c6 and prepares to castle kingside. G6 prepares to fianchetto the dark squared bishop to g7, where it will sit on the long diagonal. Bxc6 captures the knight and forces black to double their c pawns in exchange for the bishop pair. Dxc6 captures the bishop, opens up the d file and allows the light squared bishop to develop. This fianchettos the bishop by placing it on a powerful diagonal. This prepares the bishop for development. This activates a knight by developing it off of its starting square. This develops a knight off its starting square, getting it into the action. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. This develops a queen off its starting square, getting it into the action. This connects the rooks, which helps them coordinate together in the future. This strikes at the center, countering the opponent's ability to grab space. This is an equal trade. This is the only move that works. It is the last book move. Takes back. It is best. The game was close to equal, but now white has the advantage. It is an inaccuracy. This moves the bishop to safety. It is best. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. It is best. Right on target. It is best. This threatens to win a pawn. It is good. This blocks the check from an opposing queen. It is best. Castling develops a rook, while also getting the king to safety. By castling to the opposite side of the board as the opponent, the game will tend to be more double-edged. It is good. This protects an under-defended pawn that is under attack. It is excellent. This threatens to win a pawn. This allows the opponent to kick a queen. It is a mistake. This kicks an opposing queen. It is best. This move puts the queen on a safer square. It is best. Very precise. It is best. That's fine. It is good. This is the strongest option. It is best. Capturing that pawn wins material. It is best. Recaptures. It is best. Takes back. It is best. This develops a piece while also winning a tempo on a queen. It is best. This moves the queen to safety. It is best. This threatens to win a queen. It is excellent. An interesting move, although not technically the best. It is good. Recaptures. It is best. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. This move puts the rook on a safer square. It is good. That's a sensible reply. It is excellent. This wins time by threatening a queen and forcing it to move away. It is excellent. This moves the queen to safety. It is good. This takes an outpost, an active square where the knight cannot be kicked out by a pawn. It is best. This evades the check from the knight. It is best. This protects the attacked pawn. It is best. This develops a rook off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is excellent. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. One of the best moves. It is excellent. That pawn was free for the taking. It is best. This removes the attacking knight. It is best. Takes back. It is best. This allows the knight to control more squares. It is excellent. After all captures, this is an equal trade. This prevents the opponent from being able to fork pieces. It is excellent. Recaptures. This threatens to fork pieces. It is best. This threatens to play checkmate. This stops the opponent from being able to fork pieces. It is excellent. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. 
It is excellent. This wins a bishop. It is best. Takes back. This is the start of the end game and black is losing. It is best. A very strong play. It is excellent. Recaptures. It is excellent. This exposes an attack, threatening a bishop. It is best. 